Sometimes you just need atmosphere. You need something that doesn't rely on rhythms and crescendos, but upon gritty textured sound to help realize the scenario you're presenting on game day. Sometimes players need to have a visceral response to uniquely feel the dread or bleakness your session calls for. That's why this week's selection is going to step away from the typical soundtrack and introduce a new type of genre, dark ambient. Now there are several artists I've used and can recommend, but for the sake of brevity, we will focus on one of the first ones I purchased, Illuminatio by Metatron Omega. This album can be found on various digital platforms. The cheapest price by far is on Bandcamp, which is where I first came across it for about seven bucks. Now one nice thing about these albums is that they go on sale regularly on Bandcamp, so I've never paid more than $3.50 for any of the ambient albums I've collected over the past few years. So check Bandcamp regularly, because you can get these at a great price. But if you want to keep all your purchases to one site, depending on where you shop, you can find it on Amazon for about $9.99 digitally and $20.99 for a physical copy. iTunes also has it for $9.99, so you definitely have some choices. However, Bandcamp has the best price and wider selection than any other site. Now, on to the music itself. Usually I like to highlight individual tracks to help you know how to best utilize them in your campaign, but when it comes to these ambient sets, the best use for these albums is for strictly setting a tone or atmosphere in a dark and bleak setting. Some examples could include a cursed temple or church, characters wandering in haunted woods or canyons, the emptiness of the outer plains or nine hells, crypts of ancient castles or ruins, or even the presence of a deity who has plummeted to the earth to converse with a player. These are the types of tracks you can keep running in the background to enhance both the mood and atmosphere for your players without having to worry about skipping tracks because they don't fit the scenario. I've used several of these albums to introduce elements in our recent playthrough of Horde of the Dragon Queen, and it's definitely added a new dynamic, especially when introducing the Abyss or other specific cult locations. And this is definitely an album I will continue to use when playing Rise of Tiamat. If you're planning on running Curse of Strahd, Out of the Abyss, or Dungeons of the Mad Mage, this album would pair up nicely with any of those. I would encourage you to check out Bandcamp and search through their ambient listings. There you will find all kinds of albums that can fit various moods and set pieces for your campaign. It also changes up the feel of your game as you step away from playing just music and adding a new soundscape to the adventure. Trust me, it works and can really give a sense of presence for your players. So that's it for this week. I hope this new style of music can help kick up the verisimilitude at your table and help your players feel completely immersed in the worlds you've created. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.